hi let us analyze this together welcome back to my channel now first um we need to simplify especially the um left hand side of this equation so to do that remember that say x root x is equal to x to the power of one over x okay so for example if we have the cube root of x of something it should be x to the power of one over three okay now let us try to use it to simplify this so if we do that we have then that means that this is same thing as four root two root two okay raised to the power of one over x is equal to 32 all right now let us raise each side to the power of x yes so that we can cancel this and we have this remaining okay so we have four root two root two okay now raise to the power of one over x everything raised to the power of x is equal to 32 raised to the power of x yeah now remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n so we can write this as 4 root 2 root 2 raised to the power of 1 over x multiplied by x is equal to 32 raised to the power of x now x will divide itself to give us one so what we now have here is 4 2 root 2 is equal to 32 to the power of x now our intention is to get the value of this right that we need to remove these roots to remove these square roots we need to square okay so we need to square this to remove this square root so when we square both sides let's see what we get square both sides okay so we have four root two root two raised to the power of two is equal to 32 to the power of x raised to the power of two all right remember that a multiplied by b raised to the power of two is equal to a raised to the power of two okay let's use n it must not be two a raised to the power of n multiplied by b raised to the power of n okay now also a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n okay i think i've explained that here before so they'll need for this now let us evaluate this so if we evaluate that means this is going to be 4 raised to the power of 2 then multiplied by this raised to the power of 2 okay is equal to 32 raised to the power of 2 times x which is 2x all right now we have 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by now the square we remove the square root right so we are left with 2 root 2 is equal to 32 to the power of 2x now let us square both sides again okay because remember you can see that we still have root sign here so let us square so that we can cancel it okay so we square both sides if we do that we are going to have is this the first time you are coming across this channel if yes please click the subscription button 
turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos all right we upload our videos every time so there must be something new for you to watch anytime you tune in by god's grace then give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video thank you very much now back to this so let's square both sides we have four squared multiplied by two root two all squared is equal to 32 to the power of 2x squared okay so we open this again <laughs> yeah so if we do that we have 4 squared raised to the power of 2 right multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 2 then multiplied by this root 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to it seems I'm, I need to clean part of this okay all right I hope you're enjoying this <laughs> all right now let us um continue so this is equal to 32 to the power of 2x times 2 we give us 4x now we have 4 let me stay here since i'm blocking the view your view so now we have 4 to the power of 2 times 2 which is 4 right multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by this we remove this which is 2 say 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 32 to the power of 4x okay now when you look closely you will notice that we can change each of them to be in the same base to base 2 right yeah so let's go ahead and do that now 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 and 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 okay so we solve we are going to replace this with 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 4 to the power of 4x now the most interesting aspect of this video is where i proved that the answer i got is correct i wouldn't like you to miss that okay so tune in stay tuned for the last part now we continue so we can write this as 2 to the power of 2 times 4 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 4x right which will give us 20x remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n okay So we will now write this as 2 to the power of 8 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 20x. So we have 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2 to the power of 20x. Remember, remember, that a to the power of m equals if a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n then m is equal to n so that means that we can say that 11 is equal to 20x now let us divide both sides of this equation by 20 to get our x before we start our proof okay so divide both sides by 20. So we have 11 over 20 is equal to 20x divided by 20. So when this divide itself, we have 1. 1 times x is x. So you can see that x is equal to 11 over 20. Now let us prove that the answer is we got is correct, which is the most 
interesting aspect of this video. If you watched to this stage, thank you very much. I'm going to guarantee you, you are going to enjoy this, okay? All right, so our x is 11 over 20. So the equation says x root of 4 root 2 root 2 is equal to 32. So like, just like we explained or we simplified it before, this sentence has 4 root 2 root 2 raised to the power of 1 over x is equal to 32. Now remember that our x is equal to 11 over 20. So 1 over x is equal to 20 over 11. Okay? So we're going to substitute that here. So we have 4 root 2 root 2 raised to the power of 20 over 11 is equal to 32. Now, let's raise each side of this equation to the power of 11 so that we can cancel this 11, okay? So, we have 4 root 2 root 2 raised to the power of 20 over 11 raised to the power of 11 is equal to 32 to the power of 11. Now, remember that this will multiply this, right? So this we cancel this. And what we now have is 4 root 2 root 2 raised to the power of 20 is equal to 32 raised to the power of 11. Now we can express this as 4 to the power of 20 multiplied by root 2 to the power of 20, okay, multiplied by root 2, double root 2, right? That is root 2 of root 2 to the power of 20 is equal to 32 to the power of 11. All right. Now, this can be written as 4 to the power of 20 multiplied by, now square root of 2 is 2 to the power of half. So raised to the power of 20 multiplied by square root of 2 is 2 to the power of half. Then we have another square root, so it's going to be raised to the power of another half, right? Now raised to the power of 20 is equal to 32 to the power of 11. All right, so we have 4 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of, when this divide this, we have 10. So 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by, this will be 2 to the power of 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, raised to the power of 20 is equal to 32 to the power of 11. Okay? So we have 4 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by, now this we divide this to give us 5. So we have 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 to the power of 11. All right? Now let's put everything in the same base. Okay? Even this. Now 4 is 2 squared. So we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 is 2 to the power of 5, right? Raised to the power of 11. All right. So here we have 2 to the power of 2 times 20 is 40, okay? multiplied by 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 11. Now, recall that when you have the same base and they are multiplying, you pick one base, you add the powers, okay? 
So we can write this as 2 to the power of 40 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 11 is 55. So we have 2 to the power of 55 is equal to 2 to the power of 55. So that is the answer. I need to go and attend to my page. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.